Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel and welcome here if you are new. I am so excited for today's video. We're gonna be spending some time in the kitchen to give it a little refresh. We recently got back from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I love it down there. And while we were there, I got some new decor. I also took a quick little trip up to my favorite shop here in the Western New York area, Tatter Tulip, and got some new decor there too. So I'm super excited to spend some time in the kitchen to redecorate a little bit, to give it a very cozy country farmhouse look. Also to you guys, I'm so excited. Today is the launch of my candle, Blueberry Crumble by Mother Time from Copper Candle Co. I am so excited to be working with Copper Candle Co. I absolutely love their candles. I talk about them all of the time. They just make my house smell like home and I absolutely love all of their candles. And I worked with them to create Blueberry Crumble. You guys, this candle smells amazing. If you are looking for that cozy country farmhouse smell or kitchen, this baby is it. I wish you could smell it. It is amazing. The throw on this candle is amazing. And even after you blow it out, the scent still lingers. It is just a yummy, delicious candle. You're absolutely gonna love it. So I'll include a link and a code for you in the description below. I also have a fun and easy DIY wait until you see. They are so cute. And like I said, they are so fun to make. So stay tuned for that as well. So anyways, you guys, grab yourself a coffee or tea, sit back, relax, and let's head into the kitchen. Before I start redecorating, I'm going to give the counters a quick wipe down and I'm still loving the Mrs. Myers Daisy scent. It is so good. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried it. And nothing beats a yummy candle burning while decorating. And I found this beautiful stand recently at Tatter Tulip. So I'm gonna place it here along with the candle ring and one of the two wick blueberry crumble candles. I love creating little vignettes in my kitchen. I have these cutting boards that I've already had there, so I'm not gonna move them. And I found this cute rooster last year at Hobby Lobby in their spring section. And I have actually a few of them, so I'm gonna put one of them here, along with a white pitcher, which was also from Hobby Lobby, some greens from Tatter Tulip, and these darling candles. I love that flicker and glow, especially at night. Over in this corner, I'm going to leave my anchor jars as well as this crock filled with wooden utensils. And I'm just going to add this stand filled with some faux artichokes. And over in this corner, I always love having this little lamp tucked in the corner. It is from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to add this white pitcher from Hobby Lobby with some greens and this Magnolia seltzer bottle that I got a few years ago at Home Goods. I recently picked up this beautiful new tear tray from Tatter Tulip and I'm excited to decorate it. When I decorate a tear tray, I'm always mindful for where the feet and the top hook is. So I make sure all of the decor align within that. I wanted to keep the tear tray simple. So on the top tray, I simply added a candle ring and now I'm going to style the bottom of the tray. The bottom tray, I am adding this Creative Co-op berry bowl along with these faux nuts that are also from Creative Co-op. I'm also adding the sign that says bless this house with love and laughter along with a ruffled tea towel and these really cute apples that are from Mud Pie. I just love the simplicity of this tear tray. Next to the tray, I'm going to add these bowls along with a wooden spoon. When we were in Tennessee, I picked up this new candle light and I love the cozy glow. I got it from a primitive shop in Pigeon Forge called Thistle Do Lovely. And then I'm also adding this new topiary that I got from my mom.
Now on to the table, I recently picked up this new runner from a cute little shop here in the Western New York area called the Old Steeple. They have such cute decor and great primitive decor too. And I love the size of this runner. Next, I'm gonna add these open lanterns. I love these open lanterns. I get asked about them all the time. I've had them for about a year and I got them at Tattertula. To the small lantern, I'm going to add a candle ring and one of my blueberry crumble candles. And to the large lantern, I'm going to add a pitcher along with some greenery. I love these spheres. They're great to just pop anywhere. And then one of these ruffle tea towels. Also added another one of the Hobby Lobby roosters between the open lanterns. And now it's time to light blueberry crumble. I just love the way it makes my home smell. In this corner, I'm gonna add this plant stand that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and add my vintage watering can that I got at an antique store in Gatlinburg. I also picked up this battery operated lantern in Gatlinburg and I love the cozy glow. I also am going to add some of my radon pieces along with some of my vintage spoons to give this space a cozy country farmhouse look. Over onto the coffee station, I'm gonna add this crock with some of my vintage spoons, along with these darling blueberry pies. Wait until you see how cute and easy these are to make. To make these darling blueberry pies, I'm gonna begin with some mini pie dishes. These I picked up at Hobby Lobby in the cake decorating section, and I spray painted mine brown just to give it a more primitive country look. And now I'm adding some hot glue into the bottom of it, and I'm gonna fill it with some pillow fill or some polyfill or whatever you have on hand. And to make your pie smell yummy, you could add a few drops of fragrance oil or even toss in some cinnamon. Next, I'm going to trace out the top of my pie dish on a piece of muslin. I do like to coffee stain my muslin, and I will include a link for the blog post in the description below. And now I'm going to cut it out going an inch over. Now I'm gonna add hot glue around the rim and add my piece of cut out muslin on top. I press down all around to make sure that it adheres to the hot glue. And now I will trim the excess off. To make the crust, I'm gonna tear a half inch piece of muslin. I normally use one long piece of muslin, but I'm trying to use up some of the extra scraps I have. So I'm just gonna tear a few half inch pieces so I can add a pleating around the rim of the pie. Working in sections, I'm gonna add a little bead of hot glue, and then I'm gonna go around pinching in my strips of muslin around the edges to create a crust. Music 
And this is how the pie looks, but it looks unbaked. So now I'm going to add some spray glue. This spray glue is from Dollar Tree. I'm going to spray it on top of the muslin and then sprinkle it with some cinnamon. I'm going to dust the cinnamon on top and then take a paintbrush to brush it around and dust some of it off. To make this a blueberry pie, I'm going to add a few little blueberries on top, but you can make this any kind of pie you'd like. I found these stems from Joanne, so I'm just going to pick a few of the blueberries off and hot glue them to the top. Now I'm going to spray it with some more spray glue and sprinkle it with some glitter to make it look like a sugary topping. I will include a list of all the supplies I used in the description below as well as a link to the blog post. And to seal in the glitter, I'm going to add some more spray glue. And finally, I'm going to add a cute little stamp tag. These clickable stamps are from Michaels and I am stamping it on a piece of torn muslin. And then I'm also going to add a piece of torn homespun. I'm going to add the tag with the safety pin to the pie. These adorable pies are a cute bowl filler to use on a tiered tray or to use on your coffee station like I am. Anyways, you guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today as I redecorate my kitchen. I hope I gave you some inspo. And what about these darling pies? Are they not the cutest? If you make them, I would love to see. Snap a picture and tag me over on Instagram so I can see your super cute pies too. Anyways, you guys, thanks again for spending some time with me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.